Within our body, there is life. But does that life die, or is it just our body which dies? The search for the human soul, the life within us, and our very being and consciousness has taken us on a journey of discovery for thousands of years. It is if we are trying to find ourselves within ourselves. Within our brain, a tiny gland exists that we call the pineal gland, one of the best hidden, hardest to reach parts of our bodies, and it is thought that this is the seat of the human soul. This strange little gland is responsible for our moods. It regulates our sleep patterns and produces a natural psychedelic state of consciousness, meaning that this gland plays a crucial role in our psychological well-being and possibly holds the key for unlocking the true potential of humanity. Wait till you hear this. One of the strange things that we know about the pineal gland is the fact that it is filled with water that harbors crystals that in turn generate piezoelectric properties. The crystals become compressed within the gland and release protons into our bodies. This is taking place in our brain along with a process called piezochromism, which are capable of releasing any color you can imagine and the theory is that this generates diomethyl tryptamine DMT, allowing us to see wider areas of reality than what is available to our senses, a sixth sense. Almighty beings are often depicted with a halo behind them. No one knows why, but if we consider this gland what is taking place within it, then could these halos with the beam of light illuminating from them in actual fact be a reference to the position of the life within our body. Only during your sleep in complete darkness can it renew and replenish itself for another cycle leading to much speculation as to where we actually go when we are asleep. It is no secret that the ancients were obsessed with the pineal. The Greeks, for example, seen it as the connection to the realm of thought, while Buddhists see it as a symbol of spiritual awakening and the Hindus see it as the third eye and the key to clairvoyance and the sense of intuition which should always be trusted. Even Jesus claimed that the eye is the lamp of the body and if your eye is clear then your entire being will be full of light. You have to wonder how the ancients knew of the third eye. You would have to think that they would have to possess an incredible amount of knowledge to even begin to understand that this tiny thing exists inside the brain and that it is the very being of what we are as human beings here on earth. Developing the third eye is the doorway to all things. It's the quiet space within where we can touch God. The illusion of separation dissolves when we learn to master the far-reaching tools of the pineal gland because it's inside the brain but outside the mind a paradox is formed, creating a loophole to escape the contradiction of this reality. The Egyptians taught that when we can contain this paradox, freedom is achieved. Every mystery school taught the metaphysical ways of being, how to be awake within the dream, to walk between realities and surpass the limitations of humanity. No teaching is without its doctrines on the third eye as it is the first building block of all psychic skills. When used with awareness, the pineal gland offers a sensation of euphoria and oneness that heals the person's mind, offering a sense of knowledge and enlightenment. The pineal gland is considered as a way of traveling between dimensions, referred by many as astral projection or remote viewing. The pineal gland was long considered mysterious because it was the last of the intricate structures to be discovered. Scientists considered it a mysterious organ 
And today we know that unlike much of the rest of the brain, this gland is not isolated from the body by the blood-brain barrier system. That is it for the moment, guys. You can let us know what you are thinking on this subject below. And as always, thank you for watching.